We're happy to have Sid with us. And he is a partner with Gen Eon Technologies, which is the first and only engineered water company that will enjoy an NSF certification. We all know what that is, being involved with IHA, for food contact areas. And they're making headway in the education market at the Atlanta Public Schools. Hopefully, we can get that same um, reaction here in Hawaii. Anyway, let me go on to say, Sid will give us more information about his product. He is, uh, he lived in New York and uh, went to Minneapolis for his college education. He then um, became a proud father of a seven-year-old daughter, and he and his family still reside in Minneapolis. His work experiences include working for American Express. He's very, very versed on the tenant equipment that we use in our hotels and uh, health centers. His work also included Active Ion. Some of us know about Active Ion. We had a presentation years ago, and I think a few of us still have the product at our establishment. But Sid is here to talk about Gen Eon Technologies. And a few of us here in Hawaii have had the experience of sampling this product. It's quite amazing how water can transfer into colors that we are all familiar with. The blue is always the, what? What do we use blue for? Window cleaning. Window cleaning. And the green? Pressure cleaning. Well, they have the same technology, and I'm happy to introduce Sid, who's going to give us more information. So everybody, please help me welcome Sid Williams. Thank you, Madeline. So I was feeling really proud of myself. You know, I was giving this presentation. And then the rules um, asked Angela to hand around the quiz and only give it to the smart people. <laughs> so she was walking around, she looked at me, and she just sliced me with her head and she walked back. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, my name is Sid Williams. I'm one of the co founders of Genuine Technologies. And um, I'm sure most of you haven't heard of us. We've been around for like two years now. Um, and we are just starting to approach the hospitality market in Hawaii and other parts of the country. But this, I'll give you a quick background as we go along about the company and what we're doing. Um, I would love this to be interactive, so as I continue this presentation, if you have any questions, just feel free to stop me and ask, and I'll try to answer those questions too. So, um, my company has been around, as I mentioned, for about two years, but I've been in the cleaning industry for 20 something years. Um, one of my first job was at Tenant Company. Um, you guys are familiar with Tenant, I'm assuming. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I was a product manager with them. Um, I left and I went back to business school, and after I graduated, Active Ion started up. And I was part of the initial team that launched Active Ion. My boss from Tenant, he actually started up the company. So I was there with them for about two and a half years, then I left, and John Shannon and I, we started up Genial Technologies. Um, unfortunately, Activine, which was a great product, uh, doesn't exist anymore. But it wasn't because of the product, it was because of the, the companies who were funding them. Uh, they had some different ideas about where they wanted to go with the technology. So, um, any questions on that so far? Okay. So our purpose is to make cleaning easier and familiar. Um, and I'm going to use Active Iron as a reference a lot because it allows people to think about what I'm talking about in the context of colors and senses and things like that. But one other thing that you should also keep in mind is that what we're doing today, what Genion is doing today, is not unique. And there's a lot of other companies who are doing it. We just are doing it in a different way than everybody else. And I'd like you guys to um, think about that as we go along um, during this presentation. So, Rose mentioned um, toxicity. One of the most important things for us is that to create products that reduces or eliminate all toxic materials um, from the experience of the custodians and the cleaners. So all of our products that we create, they don't have any toxins in them. 
all of them actually use food grade products. And that's going to make more sense as I continue the presentation. Um, our product, even though we have been around for only about two years, our product is actually used all over um, the US, specifically in the mainland and in Canada. Um, we are at places like Georgia Tech. Um, I mentioned Atlanta Public Schools. Atlanta Public Schools is one of the largest school districts in Atlanta. They have over 100 schools. And um, they found our product and they decided to try it in one of their schools. And the response from the customers were so overwhelming that they decided to deploy it in all of their schools. So this product is in all of the public schools in Atlanta. They remove all of their toxic chemicals from their environment. Um, Rose also mentioned about um, charge buckets. Actually, that's a really interesting thing. I never heard of charge buckets before until about <coughs> maybe a year and a half ago. And we had a customer in Canada. It's also another school district, Sunny School District. They, um, we got a call from them, and they want to buy 60 of our tabletop product. So we're kind of curious, why would a school district buy 60 tabletop product? Well, what we're doing, they have this process where they would pull microfibers in four. They would put about eight microfiber cloth in a sealed bucket. There's a four hour solution inside, get it wet, but not soaking wet. And then they use it, and they use it to clean. So one ship, one custodian, would use a charge bucket of microfiber cloth. And then one side of the cloth get dirty, they just flip it over the other side. So each cloth has eight surface that they can use to clean. Incre increase productivity significantly. So that was the, the point that you were making. We go 16. Yeah. Okay. 16 sides. 16 sides. And you probably are right. So, um, yeah, so, you know, other places like restaurants, um, there's a um, restaurant in Texas that really loves the product. They actually did a testimonial for us um, with their experience on the technology and their experience using it and their guests' experience using it also. One of the big things that restaurants were having. I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen this, is after somebody leaves the table, the bus boy or the bus driver would come and they would spray something on, and that vapors would waft into people's food and it spoils the experience. So then people would look at you like, what are you doing? And because look at he's got no idea that he's not doing something, he's doing something incorrect because the stuff that you spray has toxins inside. And in an enclosed place over time could be an issue. So we think that our product actually helps to eliminate those issues. So uh, we make three distinct solutions with our product. We make a sanitizing solution, we make a glass and general purpose cleaner, and we make a heavy duty cleaner and degreaser. So the sanitizing solution we make is called hypochlorous. It's actually made, made by your bodies. Your white blood cells actually have something called lipids. And if you have an infection, that white blood cell actually creates hydrochloric to fight off that bacteria. In 1978, the EPA actually did a study where they compared hydrochloric to chlorine bleach. And what they found was that hydrochloric was about 80 to 200 times more effective at killing bacteria than chlorine bleach. But it doesn't have a harmful side effect. So think about 200 times, 80 to 200 times stronger than chlorine bleach with other harmful side effects. So one of the things I'm going to do later on during the demonstration, I'm going to create some of this solution, some of the sanitizing solution. And I'm going to put it on my clothes, and you're going to see that it's not going to be in the market. It's a neutral pH cleaner. So it's not going to damage your surface. It's not going to damage anything that you use on. But it's going to be very effective against the bacteria. Um, any questions so far? So, so we feel that um, one of the benefits of our product, that you're going to notice that a little bit the language in cleaning is starting to change. A few years ago, and Rose could attest to this, it was all about green cleaning. And I probably recently, most people are confused about what green cleaning is. Because what well, a lot of companies did, they changed their formulation a little bit and they put the green label on their package. So all of a sudden, green cleaning doesn't have any meaning anymore. So what you'll notice now is that there's a shift. And the new language that people are talking about now is sustainable cleaning. So use products that you can get from the environment without damaging the environment. So that's a shift. And another big thing for us is also um, 
costs. We want our products to be cost effective so that when our customers deploy them, they're actually benefited from it in addition to the health benefits that they get from using our products. Um, so what is this product? What am I talking about? Have you ever heard of TCA technology? Any of you? It's called electrochemical activation. It's actually a very old technology. It's been around since about the 1800s. There's a British scientist, his name was Spike, Michael Faraday, in the 1830s. He applied an electrical charge to water. And what he noticed was that water started to behave differently. So he was actually credited with inventing this technology. So this technology, it's not new. It's over 150 years old. During the Cold War, the Russians actually took the technology. Uh, what they wanted, they wanted to have a large amount of chemicals or solutions if there was a nuclear attack. They knew that they could not manufacture enough solutions in the traditional ways to clean their facilities um, if there was a nuclear attack. So they built this huge machine that took up the entire room to create these solutions. After the Cold War ended, the technology started to get refined, um, but they were still very, very expensive. And we're going to touch a little bit on where some of the technology is used today. Because you guys are familiar with it. You've seen it before, but you just haven't realized that that's what it is. Um, so have you ever walked into a grocery store and you notice in the produce section, there's a little sprinkler over the vegetables and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Most likely, that's hydrochloric you're seeing. So what it does, because it's very safe, um, it's very effective at killing bacteria at very low levels. It actually kills the bacteria and can prolong the life of the, of the produce. So um, we're actually doing studies now. There's a large fast food chain in the US. They want to actually incorporate our product into their restaurants. So how they want to use it, they want to, uh, us to build a machine for them. And they want to be able to put produce in the machine and sanitize those produce. Um, using our system. So we're doing testing right now at the University of Georgia. The benefit to that is that companies now start sourcing products locally. So um, it's very expensive to actually ship um, things, for example, to Chicago. Because I don't know if you've been to Chicago, but the traffic in Chicago is horrendous. And to get vegetables to Chicago, for example, is very, very expensive. So if you're concerned about sustainability and things like that, it's a very, very powerful way for companies to say, you know what, we are sourcing our stuff locally, but we are also reducing um, all the costs. We can pass on those costs now in savings to our customers. So um, healthcare, it's actually, the solution is actually using healthcare a lot. So if you got a burn and you go to a hospital, um, most likely they would wash your burns with hydrochloric. So it's very effective at killing bacteria, but it's also safe for our bodies. It's not going to harm us. Um, questions so far? Well, what does the government agency say about um, the solution that's created by these technologies? Well, the FDA, they actually um, look at hydrochloric solutions and they classify it as grass. Grass is a term that they, uh, they coined back in the 1970s and it means generally regarded as safe. So, if you look at salt, if you look at the MSDS sheet of the salt, it will say grass and it's generally grass is safe. So all of the catalysts, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that in a second, all of them are classified as grass because they're all food additives that you can use. The CDC on their website actually recommend um, saline or hypochlorous type solutions um, when you sanitize and clean because it doesn't have the environmental impact of other traditional products. Um, that's what the federal government is saying. But what are other third party people are saying? So we wanted, when we go out to sell our product to customers, we wanted them to be able to reference other third parties um, to show that our product is effective. Um, have any of you ever heard of Turi? I know Rose have heard of Turi, but Turi is actually a lab um, out of the state of Massachusetts. Um, it's part of the University of Massachusetts system, and their job is to identify toxic-free products uh, for state workers to use. And that started up in the 90s, and it became so popular that companies actually started selling their products for TUI to evaluate. So TUI right now is a leader um, 
in the world actually of evaluating um, non-toxic products and then measuring their effectiveness at cleaning. Our products were actually tested, our solutions were actually tested by Turi, and what they found that our product actually clean as well, are better than the leading glass and general purpose cleaners and heavy duty cleaners and degreasers in the market without any of the toxic um, chemicals associated with them. Um, NSF, you guys are familiar with NSF. Um, we were the first product that was actually approved by NSF under their, uh, their food codes. So our product is the only product, ECA technology product, that has the approval to be used in food contact services. Any questions so far? Okay. So, what it does? Well, I mentioned before that we sanitize. So, our solution, our sanitizing solution, we actually had it tested in two different labs, and the report indicated that we can kill bacteria like Salmonella, E. coli, Staph, MRSA, VRE, norovirus, H1N1 virus, polio, all of those things with our solution. We could actually kill some of those bacteria in 10 seconds in the place put it to the surface. So um, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but if you spray the surface, if you want to sanitize the surface, you have to leave that solution on the surface, usually from a minute to 10 minutes, to either sanitize or disinfect that surface. Most people don't do that because it's too long. So you spray and then you just wipe off. And what happened over time, bacteria has developed a resistance to the chemicals. Our product, because it happened so quickly, and the mechanism that we use to kill the bacteria, we actually attack the cell of the bacteria. So um, traditional chemicals poison the bacteria or the virus. But because we attack the cells of the bacteria, the bacteria can develop a immunity to it. So they die after 10 seconds. Questions? What I found out is that the residue from disinfectants left on surfaces actually can be harmful. And the, in kitchens, I've always told people not to use disinfectants on your surf kitchen surfaces to use a sanitizer. And that's great, that's a great point, because think about it. You spray a disinfectant near surface, and then you put the meat on that surface, or a piece of a vegetable, or a fruit. What's happening? That is effectiveness transfer of the fruit. And all of a sudden, you know, you're digesting that. So it's not a good sign. Um, a huge, huge part of why we are in business and all of you are in business is because we work for companies that want to make money. And cleaning, cleaning products are a huge part of their expenditure. So if we bring a product to market, we want to bring a product that's both effective but can also um, generate some savings to the companies that are investing in our technology. So uh, our analysis and our customer's analysis suggests that after you purchase our technology, um, with a small bottle of Catalyst like this, and this is about $3, this bottle is about $3.25, you can make about 70 gallons, that's 70 gallons of glass and general purpose clean. So I don't know how much you pay for glass cleaners at this point, but the cost per gallon of that is about seven cents. And we're actually working to get that down even lower than that. So very cost effective. I know I was talking to one school district, and they buy a specialized glass cleaner in a can, and it was six dollars for one of those. So when I told them how the cost per gallon of this, they were just blown away. So questions on that? One of the problems with glass cleaning today, I understand, is ammonia. Right. Ammonia, um, and this doesn't happen with Because what ammonia does, it allows the glass to dry faster. Um, so it also contributes to the streaks that you see on the uh, mirrors after you clean them. So how many guys have you noticed after you clean, if you use regular glass when you clean, um, the surface gets dirty relatively quickly? You know why? Exactly. Exactly. There's a residue. When you apply the glass cleaner, any cleaners, any chemicals to the surface, there's a residue behind. 
and the rest do actually acts as a trap to dirt. So when that dirt or dust actually hit that surface, it has a place to hold on to, so it gets dirty really, really quickly. Because our product doesn't have any residue associated with them, when you clean a surface, the surface actually stays clean or not. So, and there's no VOCs, there's no smells, so you're not going to factor that either. So, we have a variety of different products. I brought two here today, but it depends on, you know, what our customers need, and we have products to support those needs. And I'm just going to go give you a quick overview of what those products are. So we can make solutions anywhere from 40 ounces, um, anywhere to 40 gallons. Um, so wide range of products, and I'm going to walk through these products with you in a very quick period. So the first product that we launched, which is what, two years ago, was our trio, trio kit. And this makes 40 ounces of solution at the time. The feedback that we got from the marketplace, and my life had attested that, said, we love your solution, but it doesn't make enough. Because each time, you know, you may have a, a staff of, I don't know how many, 10, 15, 20, or significantly more than that. So this is only going to spill out, fill out about one and a half spray bottle and it's just not operationally effective. So the feedback from the marketplace was, we love your solution, just not getting enough of it. So what we did, we went back and we actually redesigned and we came up with a larger decanter that we're going to be introducing at ISSA show. It made 64 ounces, so it fills up two 32 ounce spray bottles of solution. Still, a lot of customers say, you know, for small operations, that's great, but we need more volume than that. So. Um, we went back and we actually created, and I'm going to touch on that in a little bit, a larger machine that creates much more solution. One of the big markets for us is in healthcare. Um, are you guys familiar with something called CDIF? Mm -hmm. And you mentioned the oral virus earlier. CDIF is a cell. CDIF is a very, very, so CDIF is a spore, <coughs> and it's one of the most dangerous <coughs> things in hospitals right now, especially for elderly people. Um, Chances are, if you go to a hospital and you get infected with C. diff, um, it's unlikely that you could survive. It's that dangerous. And it's becoming more and more prevalent in the US. So to kill C. diff, it takes very, very toxic chemicals to do it. Um, very few things can actually kill them. So our solution actually kills C. diff. So it's safe enough to put your clothes, touch your skin, but also strong enough something like CDF. So we have a product that we are specifically designed for healthcare to target CDF.